Hello everybody, Venom Lion here and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Now, today, since we've just finished completing the Dark Brotherhood questline, we're gonna do some side quest stuff, you know, try to clean our quest log. So uh, I got this quest here, Repairing the Orrery, which I know is a DLC quest, which I have never played. So the content that I will be doing today is content that I have no idea what it is. Uh, I have never played it. Uh, the Orrery DLC and a lot of the player homes actually weren't in the console version of the Game of the Year edition, which is the version that I played when I was younger. So I never played those, those quests. So yeah, let's just go for it. I'm excited. Repairing the Orrery. I've discovered a note from Bothiel at the Arcane University. If I can recover the dwarven artifacts that have gone missing, there may be a reward. I should travel to Camp Alice, Ailes, Alice, and see if I can track down these bandits. All right, and this is over there on the Gold Coast. So let's fast travel to Middle Rock Cave and let's kill ourselves some bandits. I have. I have no idea, like, I don't even know if this quest is long, if it takes a long time to complete. I have literally no idea what it's what it is about. I don't think it's that long, though. It's not an expansion, it's a DLC, so it should be done pretty quickly. Oh, and we found an alien ruin. Trumb. I won't go in there, but that's cool. So we should be nearing the abandoned camp shortly. This is exciting, new content for one of my favorite games of all time. All right, so I'm nearing the camp, so I will leave Shadowmere behind. Wait, oh, 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 okay, let's, uh, I wanted to be stealthy, but uh, that ain't gonna happen. Bandit carrier, all right. All right, Dwarven Cog. Okay. Okay. Undelivered letter. Mage Hunter's Helmet. That's worth a lot. Resist magic, 11% on self. That is, uh, that is good. I'll take it. And the Glass Warhammer. I found a list of locations at which the Dwarven artifacts for the Orrery are being held. I should visit Dagny's camp, Brach camp, Bodean camp, and Varus camp to track down the remaining bandits. Hey, I'm down. Alright, Mountain Lion and Bandit need to go too. Uh, what's that that you drop? An Elven Mace. Uh, I don't care. Nice helmet you got there, bro. Okay, anything else in their camp? Nope, just a regular bandit camp. Oh my god. <laughs> my companion startled me. I never play with companions uh, in Oblivion. Uh, so I'm not used to them being around, you know? Alright, so we got three camps here. I'll go to this one first. <laughs> Shut up, Shadowmere. You can't die. You don't feel pain. Hello? Oh, that's it, though. Damn. Yes, that's right. You lost me. <laughs> oh, what? That was weird. I... I hit him before the animation finished there. Oh, I, I, I had that bug before. I think I need to close my game and open it back up again and change something in the any settings of Oblivion. <sighs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna go do that real quick because it's gonna bother me. So uh, be right back soon, guys. Yay. All right, I'm back. Uh, I didn't find a solution online, so I just restarted the game and the issue is fixed. No problem. Oblivion. I'm pretty sure that issue is caused by one of the few mods that I have for the game uh, because I never add that issue on console. 
uh, before. Maybe it's just a PC thing. I don't know. Oh, that's the camp. Ah, oh, come on. All right, Greaves of Spell Consumption. Whoa, Spell Absorption, 14 points on self. That's great. That's amazing. Holy shit. Holy crap. Uh, do you have like a Dwarven thing on you though? Because that's why I'm here. A chest. Is it in there? No. Did I pick it up? Apparently I did. Okay. I spent a lot of time uh, yesterday playing the Final Fantasy VII Remake. A lot of time, I mean the whole goddamn day. Uh, I played like Animal Crossing a bit during the, the morning and then like... I played FF7 Remake for 10 hours straight after that. And man, it's such a good remake. It's It really sets the bar up for like what a remake can be. And uh, playing it, like uh, I'm reminding myself of all these great games that I've played in the past and how it would be awesome if any of them could get the same treatment. Like Oblivion would be one that I would love. Uh, Final Fantasy X, 2, Kingdom Hearts 2. That would be amazing, man. All right. All right, bandits. Fork over the, the, the Dwarven uh, artifact. Boom. <laughs> that was a miss. All right. Flying he goes. Dwarven Coherer. Okay. So is that quest just like picking up random stuff in bandit camps? That would be a bit underwhelming. I kind of have a feeling that that's what it is. War Axe of Beguilement. Sounds like something I will sell. Yes. That's exactly what I will do. Uh, okay, next. North. Let's go north. To victory. That's a Minotaur. I want to tussle with that. Hey, bro. Hey. <laughs> Boom. I love the physics of that game, man. Mm, I love this game. Thank you, by the way, to uh, the people watching. Um, Oblivion is the series that perform uh, the least for me. Uh, I always have like very few views on it. Uh, compared to my ALO series and my uh, SCP series. Uh, but uh, I will keep on doing it until I finish the game 100%. Um, or at least like every quest that I really want to do. Uh, because I enjoyed it and I created a channel to basically play that game and have like a definitive playthrough in. So uh, I'm not about to uh, cancel that anytime. Hey, Wolf, please. I'm trying to be sneaky here. You fucked it all up! Yeah. Oh my god. What's happening? Uh, yeah, so if you're watching, thanks. Uh, I know not a lot of people do, but it, it's appreciated. And uh, I enjoy my time in Oblivion, so I will keep on keeping on, you know? But however, like, this will make me uh, wary of starting other very long games such as uh, uh, Skyrim, Fallout, uh, stuff like that. It's just because like uh, my series here does not perform well, but also like there's other reasons for that. I think one of them being that uh, let's say like 
people see one of the episodes and they're like, oh, I like the series. I'm going to go back and like watch them all. Well, the first few episodes of Oblivion were actually my very first that I uploaded on the channel. And God, they fucking suck. Like, I cannot rewatch them. I'm so like shy and not funny. And I don't know. I'm not, I'm still kind of shy and not funny today, but like, I don't know. It's really rough. So like, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll try another series. Oh, I didn't read that. Maybe I'll try a longer series in the future. Um, I don't know. I have recovered all of the missing Dwarven artifacts. I should take them to Bothiel at the Arcan University at once so she can repair the orrery. Hell yeah. Let's go kill that bandit first, though. Hey, boy. Wanna have fun? What the fuck was that? You're drunk, man. All right, anything of value here? No, let's go to Bothiel. So was that it? Was that the whole class? That would be kind of lame. Greetings, guildmaid. Hey, girl. Have them? The items I requested. Fourteen hundred gold. Please. Yes, yes. This seems to be everything. Here's your reward. Thank you again. Is, is that it? Uh, no, it's not. What is it, associate? Do I need to go in there? But I can't. It will be... That will count as trespassing? Ah, let's try it. I need a key. Hmm. Oh, so do I need... Oh, do I need the access to the Arcane University in order to complete that quest? Because the orrery is part of the Arcane University, so that would stand to reason. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do that, because uh, I've kind of been wanting to progress in the Mage's Guild questline anyway, so... Sure. Alright. Which... Call it... Uh, which recommendation quests do I still need to do? I need to do the one for Coral, Braville, and Anvil. All right, let's go do the one in Braville. Why not? Why not? Hey, Night Mother. Sup? Oh, yeah. I know, I know. I just wanted a boon, man. Jesus. All right, Mage's Guild, here I am. Hey, girl. Hello there, associate. You're here for a recommendation, I presume. Are you prepared to earn it? Hell yeah, I am. I'm ready. I'm afraid I haven't had time to prepare anything conventional. I'm very preoccupied with this situation concerning Ardalin. Perhaps you can help with that, however. I can't directly get involved for fear of embarrassing the poor girl. I'll need you to have a little chat with Varen Vamori, and you can learn something about the power of illusion in the process. Ah, interesting. Ardalyn. Don't say anything to her. I don't want to embarrass her further. Once this is all taken care of, I'll speak to her privately. Okay. Varun Vamori. I don't understand it. Some ridiculous male thing, I suppose. Hi, he's penis. He's been bothering Ardeline every day for a while now. Yep, he's penis. He even stole her mage's staff. Perhaps he thinks it's amusing. I don't know. But it needs to stop. It's making her miserable. I think our boy wants to fuck. He's going at it the wrong way, though. What about the major staff? It's more symbolic than practical, but each carries great significance to its owner. You're going to get Arteline's staff back. All right. Take this charm scroll. With it, you should find Varon more receptive to questioning. Don't come back without that staff. Okay, I'll do that. Make sure. Va All right, so she gave us a scroll, right? 
Uh, and the scroll is... Yep, there. Charm, 30 points for 20 seconds on target. But we don't need that shit because we have... Cupid's Touch, which is our very powerful illusion spell that charms 100 points for 2 seconds on touch. So let's equip that. Uh, let's also track the Breville Recommendation quest well met, and talk Greetings with Varun Vimori. Hey, boy. Hello, friend. What can I do for you? Yeah, yeah, he likes me now. Arlen. I don't know what to say. All I want is for her to care about me, to feel the same way as I do about her. But she doesn't. I'll move on then. I try and I try, and it just doesn't matter. It makes me furious sometimes. Well, stop. Goddamn. Plenty of fish in the sea, man. All right, Major Staff. All right. I admit it. I took it from her. I I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. I was trying to tell her how I feel, again, and she wouldn't even stop to talk to me. I just got so angry. I was a little ashamed afterwards, but I didn't know how to apologize or give it back. I wish I could. I'm afraid I don't have it anymore, you see. I... I sold it to a friend of mine, Saurus Aranum. Great. That's perfect. Where's that boy at? He lives in the Talos Plaza district of the Imperial City. He's the one who has Ardalene staff now. Great. You're a dumbass. All right, let's go to the Imperial City, boys. And yeah, like, uh, I know I keep saying that almost every... Oh, wait. I need to talk to Kudai again. Not talking with Varon. Yes, Major Staff. Varon Vamori should give it to you once you've persuaded him, if you understand me. He sold it, huh? Yeah. Well, this just keeps getting worse. I know. Very well. I presume he gave you some indication of where the staff is now located. Take these and go resolve the situation. And of course, please keep this just between us. I got you, girl. I got you. All right. So, so she gave us more the guile scrolls. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, basically, what I was going to say there when I got outside is, uh, you know, how I keep mentioning how a lot of the major skill quests, uh, the recommendation quests, are kind of like small tutorials to different schools of magic. That's another example. Like. Hey, uh, oh, repairing the orrery. The orrery at the Arcane University should be functional once more. I can visit it now as often as I like and also receive powers based on the phases of the moon. What? Uh, okay, we'll go see that after I'm done with the recommendation quest. That's curious. Uh, but yeah, this uh, recommendation quest is basically like a small tutorial for the the illusion school of magic, like the charm effects that you can have. And obviously, like I uh, I learned my that lesson well because uh, charm is really cool. Uh, yeah, I will wait twenty four hours. Like I don't want to break into the house. I just want uh, him to convince him to give it to me, you know? I don't want to steal. I'm a good boy. Most of the time. Alright, where? Where? On the other side. What is it, citizen? Shut up, guard. Alright, Soros Aranim's house. Hell yeah. Hey, boy. Good, good day, stranger. Soros Aranim is my name. Major Staff. Look, I can't just give it to you. I paid good money for it, after all. Uh-huh. I'll tell you what. You give me at least a portion of what I paid for it. Say, 200 gold, and I'll give you the staff. That's a good deal, right? I wouldn't offer it to anyone else, just you. So, what do you say? No. Are you sure? Well, all right. I can't give you a better offer. Uh, I prefer free, actually. Think about that offer, friend. Oh yeah, I'm thinking about it, and I hate it. 
Do you mind looking away for a second? How do you do? What? I understand old Dover. How do you do? What? <laughs> the fuck was that, man? Others, of course. Uh, okay. Uh, old man dust. All right, all right, all right, all right. So yeah, uh, that was the dialogue you get if you convince if he likes you enough to tell you about it. But like uh, before casting a beguile spell on him, uh, basically he's just like, I don't know what you're talking about. Get away from me. <laughs> Where is it? Major staff! Hell yeah! And it's a charm staff too. That's funny. I've stolen the staff from Soros Aranim's house. I need to deliver it to Kurai in Brazil. Let's do that! Hello! Shut up! I don't want to talk to you, boy. I don't want to talk to you, boy. I want to talk with Kudai. Could I talk with Kudai, please? <laughs> Do you have the mage's staff associate? T Duh. Ah, wonderful. I shall be most pleased to return this to its rightful owner. Thank you. You needn't tell me the details of what was involved in getting it. It's perhaps better that I know nothing about it. Indeed. Your actions for the guild more than merit a recommendation. I shall send it to the university promptly. And to thank you more personally, I shall teach you this spell. You may find it useful in certain circumstances. Okay. Thank you. And the you spell she teaches us, I think, is... a. Uh... A charm spell. Yeah, Captivate, which we obviously don't need because we already have Cupid's Touch that we made for ourselves, which is like the best, so... Ah, I'm not gonna use that, you know? I'm not! Wait. Replay that, please? The fuck was that? And on that weird note, ladies and gentlemen, this is where I will end today's episode. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be seeing you in the next episode. Have a good one.